is now time for our final tribute to our lost comrades on the Democrat side. Can't by any means say goodbye to them all. Goodness, it's only a half an hour show. Uh, can't do that. <clears throat> We've got some stellar heavyweights to say goodbye to. You know, I, I, on the one hand, folks, let me just say this. On the one hand, I'm so sad to see them all go. I mean, this show goes on no matter who wins elections. But, I mean, I can't make fun of Blanche Lincoln anymore. Or Byron Dorgan or Ike Skelton. I mean, I, it, it hurts in a way that I now have to find new Democrats to make a comic foil of that I can't, uh, I can't make fun of these people anymore. Um, anybody catch, by the way, uh, Chris Matthews uh, reporting the returns? Uh, on MSNBC election day, go Republicans take over the House of Representatives. But Christine O'Donnell lost to Delaware. Oh, Republican takeover is almost complete. But Harry Reid won big in Nevada. I mean, it was just excitement any time a Democrat held on. Oh, oh, they came over at MSNBC. They, they came to life over there. But if a Republican won, it was. I'll tell you, let me, let me say one last thing here. <laughs> Jim Oberstar, what, 34 years in Congress? 34 years? What happened up there, Jimmy? Did you run out of uh, bridges to build in International Falls or dams to build in Bemidji or, or, or Grand Rapids or Duluth? Did you, you, University of Minnesota Duluth not come out for you? I'll tell you, 34 years in Congress, and now, what did he say he's going to clean out his desk? Time to go. Hey, Jimmy, you clean out your desk. Do me a favor. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. 